Alright, hey guys, what is up? It's Soski here. Welcome to the RuneScape Dojo, and today I'm bringing you guys a guide on the Festival of the Dead. Uh, there are several requirements for this, uh, to do some of these. Um, but to start, it is members only, so to all you free-to-play players, I apologize. Um, so, with further ado, let's get started. Um, there are two grave sites. One is in Brimhaven, and one is south of the graveyard in Falador. Obviously, the one in Falador is easiest to get to, so that is what I chose. Uh, for your inventory, I just suggest some jewelry that has some teleports on it to places. Um, have some of your lodestone network unlocked. I'm obviously missing one in Catherby. Um, or Catherby. And uh, maybe some teletabs or law runes to teleport to other places. Um, so you're going to want to start by talking to Father Jokum, or you can do start event. Um, and you can choose from who you wish to honor so obviously here are the requirements you need one prayer in the blood pact for the zamoraki and cultist you need 20 prayer and 40 combat for the void knights 40 prayer and my big arms adventure 60 prayer in the elder kiln and 80 prayer and gothic sleeps um so obviously i only have two um all that if you can't do some of them it doesn't affect whether you get the mask or not it only affects the amount of bonus XP you get. So I will be showing you guys these first two. As they are pretty self-explanatory and the item you need to find is within a dis disclosed area. So what you want to do first is you can talk to Father Jokum if you want uh, for some dialogue. Or you can simply take from the crate of flowers. And then you're going to go to talk to Father Jokum. And ask him for some clay. Oh, you can't ask him for clay yet. you got to do the conversation. I'm going to pause and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so now that I've gone through the dialogue, dialogue, I can talk to him and be about that request. And where can I find soft clay? And he'll give you a few spare. And then you're going to click on the clay and you're going to mold it into a clay skull. A little clay skull. <clears throat> and now you're going to use the flowers on the coffin. And you'll decorate the coffin. Gonna go to small cut scenes. Cut scene. And now it says I need to find an object relating to the deceased. Now I chose the Zamorakian cultist, so we're gonna want to go to the Lumbridge Catacombs. Uh, the Lumbridge Catacombs are directly west, and you just go down the catacomb entrance. So I'm gonna pause the video now. I'm gonna find the item, which is probably towards the end, and I will show you guys where it is. All right, guys. So in every case. The item is just laying on the ground in the respective area that you need to go to. As you can see, it's the Zamorakian statu statuette. All I did was run through the first floor and then come down these stairs and it was right here. So we're going to pick up this item. Easy enough. Didn't have to go all the way down past all the monsters and stuff. So this one is safe. And it says you found the object he requested. And now we're going to run back through and go meet up with Chokum again. So now we're going to use a statuette on the decorated coffin, and a short cut screen is going to appear where there are people around the coffin uh, celebrating the life of the cultist. Um, so as you can see, oh, that's surprising. They don't have a representative here like the Void Knights did. So they are celebrating the people who died attempting to claim the town for Zamorak. Says I killed Caitlyn, though I could have let her go. <laughs> I'm glad I killed her. <laughs> uh, I like Carly, though. I could have let him go. I'm glad I killed him as well. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> now that you have proceeded with the celebration and everything's disappeared uh, he doesn't really know why everything disappears and he ends the tradition in a festival manner by putting off fireworks so as you can see here the fireworks go off make some noise and you have completed the first one he gives you the mask for completing that as you can see for helping those who died in Lumbridge catacombs you receive 1,000 double xp while you're training prayer and you can use double xp or i have 1000 double xp available in total it says i've completed the task and i can now wear my skull mask 
Now we're going to start the second one. Once again, simply speak to him. Choose the Void Knights. And I'll show you guys where this item is quickly as well. So I'm going to take the flowers. Once again, just repeat this process. Flowers. Clay. Of that request. Uh, where can I find soft clay? We'll give you some soft clay. Hey, what the fuck? What do you say about the soft clay? Oh, so I wonder if I need... I guess you have to go mine your own soft clay after the first one, uh, which is unfortunate. Alright, so I just bought my own soft clay. Now I'm going to form a clay skull. And we're going to head back to Lumbridge. So now that we're at Lumbridge, we're once again going to place the skulls on the coffin. We'll once again have a little cutscene. And now he will tell me to go find an item that was related to the deceased. So for the Void Knight one, we're going to go to Port Serum. Or you can use the Spinner Pouch uh, to get a direct teleport to the Void Knight Outpost. And for those of you who don't know, um, well, the teleport, getting to the Void Knight Outpost is pretty easy. But there are a lot of new players who may be watching this video. So I'm just going to show it. If not, you can just check the thumbnails below and fast forward the video. Um, to when I get on the island. But for those of you who don't you know, you can use the lodestone teleport and run east. And it's the second last dock here. And you click on Travel Squire. So now they're going to take you to the Void Knight Outpost. You're going to get off the ship. And when you get off the ship, you're going to head to the south. Once again, these items are very easy to find. You should have no problem finding them for the other three. Just gave you the basic idea. Ran south and on the little fucking flaccid looking penis shape of an island right here. <laughs> uh, you can pick up the Void Knight Seal. Once you pick that up, we head back to Lumbridge once again. By using the Lodestone Teleport or Teletab. Alright, so I'm back at the coffin. Now we're going to use the seal on the coffin. And once again, there will be another cutscene. <clears throat> I'm going to skip through this one because I already saw this one. And there's actually a Void Knight there representing the Void Knight that passed away. And he's told to try celebrating his life. And as you can see, I'm going to finish up right here. Um, if you guys could comment, rate, and subscribe. And let me know how you like the video in the comments below. Or even place the locations uh, of the other three so I can add them in the description below. That would be great. Um... A like helps, and uh, if you guys like the video and I helped you out, please subscribe. Uh, I do my best to bring you guys daily RuneScape videos, and also be the first one to show updates and make guides for them. Uh, remember, this guide is just almost an hour, two hours after, uh, so it may not be the best, uh, but I did try my best. So I hope that uh, is alright enough for you guys. And once again, you can see I earned more bonus XP. Uh, but I did not get any extra item. So you do get the mask after completing only one, which is cool. Uh, but in order to get the full amount of bonus XP, you have to do all five. So I hope you guys enjoyed this guide, and good luck on getting your prayer bonus XP. And I will see you... Oh, if you want to see what all the... what you can, How you can use the prayer bonus XP, check the description below. Alright guys, peace out. See you later. Oh, and by the way, my 99 cooking parties tonight. If anybody would like to attend, simply join the friend chat Soski, uh, which is my new account. I'll be in there, and uh, we'll be having a fun little party tonight. All right, peace out, guys.